I'm Steve Broadhead, founder and director of Broadband Testing Labs, an independent test labs based in Europe. We've been carrying out one optimization testing, and that's what I want to talk to you about today. By one optimization, what we mean is saving bandwidth and improving access and access speeds to applications and services on wide area networks and the internet. Now, what we find amazing still at broadband testing is so many companies believe one optimization to be a luxury rather than a necessity. We beg to differ. We believe it is an absolute necessity nowadays, and that's because the world is changing. It's changing from the client-server world of old into the web-based, cloud-based application services availability via the internet. Everything changes from a one optimization perspective, so we believe we need to test this environment, both the old environment and the new environment side by side. In order to do this, we took products from Blue Coat and from Riverbed. We created a test bed with a WAN simulator, simulating a T1 line, and we also added 100 milliseconds of latency to that test bed, effectively simulating a real world configuration. For the test format itself, we created a head to head comparison over four rounds of testing, starting with traditional file transfer, then moving on to web applications, video, and finally, cloud based computing. Here we're focusing on testing in a CIFS WAFS file transfer environment based around Microsoft Office files. In order to do this, we took two products from Riverbed and from Bluecoat and created a head to head challenge. We use Cisco's public domain WAFS benchmark tool for this testing to be completely independent. We were looking to measure response times of file open, save, and close actions based around different styles and sizes of Microsoft Office files, such as Excel, PowerPoint, and Word, etc. In order to create a real life scenario, we used a WAN simulator set to T1 with a 100 millisecond latency. That's a true real-world latency that impacts on performance. We ran cold and warm tests, that's to say cold being the first run, warm being second and third runs, and compared the differences in performance between those runs and between the two products. What we actually found in practice is that there was very little between the two products across all the tests, only 5 to 10% difference. Yet at the same time, both products actually optimize on average 10 times more than the baseline figure. That means to say you're saving 10 times the bandwidth in either case. So let's just call this round a tie. Here we're focusing on web applications. That's to say today's norm, whether it's SAP or Oracle, or Microsoft SharePoint they were actually using for the test, running across HTTP and SSL connections. We wanted to put this to the test by comparing performance between Bluecoat and Riverbed. So we created a test bed based around a wireless LAN simulator, simulating a T1 line with 100 milliseconds of latency. That's to say a real world test environment. We performed a series of cold and warm runs. That's to say cold run being the first run, warm runs being second and third, and thereafter for each product, and we then compared performance between runs and between the two products. What we found was that on cold runs, performance between the two vendors was virtually identical. No obvious difference in the real world. However, on the warm runs, the blue coat performed significantly better. In fact, five times better than the riverbed on average across all tests. What this equates to in the real world are huge savings in terms of bandwidth utilization and therefore return on investment. So in this particular case, we have to give the round to Blue Coat. Here we're focusing on optimizing video traffic. Video is the fastest growing application on the internet today. In fact, over 52% of all internet traffic is video and it's an absolute bandwidth wrecker. Don't just take our word for it. Joe Skarupa, Vice President of Research at Gartner, has also identified this problem whereby many companies are trying to add more and more video onto their networks. But their networks are just simply not designed to handle this level of video traffic. Consequently, this traffic does need optimizing. We decided to put it to the test with products from Bluecoat and Riverbed. We created a test bed based around a WAN simulator simulating a T1 line with 100 milliseconds of latency, that's delay. In this particular case, that latency is critical because video does not handle any form of latency well at all. We used a test tool from Microsoft whereby we were able to create multiple concurrent video streams starting with 20 and test them against each product in turn. If we look at Riverbed first, what we found was, even with just 20 concurrent streams, bandwidth utilization immediately was pegged at 100% and stayed there. 
What this means is there was no bandwidth available for any other application or service to use. In contrast, when we tested with Bluecoat with 20 concurrent clients, we found bandwidth utilization maxed at only 25% and very quickly dropped to almost zero, meaning that not only could it sustain 20 concurrent video streams, but there was enormous amounts of bandwidth left for other applications and services. Moving then up to 30 concurrent streams, we found immediate problems with the Riverbed product whereby it was failing to deliver video streams and 100% utilization meant we could not send any more services or applications across that link. Again, in contrast with Bluecoat, we found exactly the same performance as before, i.e. 25% utilization maximum, dropping quickly to almost zero, so again freeing up all that bandwidth for, that, for other applications and services. We then continued testing with the Blue Cut with 50 clients and then 100 clients and still found exactly the same performance levels, i.e. only 25% maximum utilization, dropping to almost zero, therefore freeing up that bandwidth for other applications and services. In that sense, we can move to 150 and even more concurrent video streams with the Bluecoat device and still actually run other applications and services on top of that. In contrast, looking back to the Riverbed product, in reality, because it could only sustain 20 maximum concurrent video clients, it effectively added very little to our baseline run with no optimization whatsoever, which also handled 20 clients. So in this particular case, the round very clearly goes to blue coat. Here, we're focusing on one optimization in the cloud. I mean, who's not talking about cloud computing at the moment? Everyone's talking about cloud computing. And that's for a good reason. It's because it's really happening. And what that means is the network structure, infrastructure, is changing from the traditional client-server type methodology to a complete cloud-based solution with software as a service, platform as a service, etc. Why is this? Quite simply because it speeds the adoption of new applications and services and it lowers deployment costs. Who can argue with that combination? So everyone is fully committed to the cloud. The cloud will be huge. In that case, we have to test to see how we can optimize that cloud. We took the Bluecoat and Riverbed products and we created a test configuration using SharePoint as a cloud-based service rather than a desktop-based service. The key thing here being traditional versus modern architecture. The hub and spoke classic architecture for branch office to head office whereby the branch office feeds into the head office, the head office acts as the gateway out to the internet. That is still alive and well, but it doesn't really directly map onto the cloud-based architecture. So instead, what's happening is Branch offices and small medium businesses are going directly out to the cloud. This is what we would term a one-armed architecture. The point being from a one optimization perspective that there is only a single point of one optimization actually at the branch office or small medium business office. So it's a very different kind of test architecturally to what we've been looking at before. So what we did, we took the blue coat and the riverbed products and what we immediately found was a riverbed was unable to optimize at all in this single armed architecture. It needs to have optimization at both ends. Blue Coat, on the other hand, can optimize in a single armed architecture. On cold runs, however, this was minimally effective. But on warm runs, the bandwidth optimization was dramatic, starting from 13 times improvement to as much as 100 times improvement with the Blue Coat product. What this means in practice is that we can see up to 100 times saving on bandwidth costs, bandwidth usage and bandwidth costs across the board. And on average, across all tests, we saw a 40 times improvement. So that's effectively a 40 times saving on bandwidth using the Blue Coat product. What that means in practice is instant return on investment for many companies, which is surely the key to IT investment. So in this particular round, Blue Coat is the clear winner. So focusing now on the scorecard for the four rounds of testing we've carried out, looking first at round one, office applications, we can declare that an honorable draw with both vendors achieving around 10 times optimization against baseline. Moving to round two, web applications, while we found Riverbed could optimize in this environment, Bluecoat was actually significantly better, in fact, five times better than Riverbed on average throughout the testing. So round two has to go to Bluecoat.
Looking at round three video, we see that Blue Coat was the only product that could actually truly optimize video. Not only was it five times better than the riverbed performance, we also could see it improving well beyond that to maybe 10, 15 times better. And more importantly still, the amount of bandwidth it left available regardless of the number of video clients being supported meant there's always room for more applications and more services to run alongside the video. So Blue Coat is a very, very clear winner of round three. Moving on to round four, the cloud. In this particular case, we found that Riverbed could not provide any optimization whatsoever in this particular architecture. So the winner by definition has to be Blue Coat. However, it goes beyond that because the amount of performance improvement we saw was quite staggering. 40 times on average, but actually peaking in excess of 100 times improvement. What that means is you're using over 100 times less bandwidth. So imagine the cost saving there and the return on investment. So round four, a very clear win for Blue Coat in every sense. So overall, only Blue Coat was able to actually optimize the traffic in the modern types of environment and test cases that we see as being critical going forward. And then by a very, very significant margin over Riverbed, where Riverbed was able to provide optimization. What this adds up to is a huge cost saving for any customers willing to invest in the Blue Coat technology. Thank you very much.